You know, anytime Coach Yako or any of the coaches um, talk, I listen and I try to apply that in anything I do. He also says that as a defensive tackle, you are hard to block. Have you gotten better at that in your years here at UConn? Absolutely. Um, I think it's just maturity, you know. Um, when you're 18 and 19, you're not as mature as when you are 21, 22. Um, so it's just a lot of work. I put a lot of work in. Um, I take pride in, in, in being trying to be the best at my job. Had a couple of rough seasons. Is there optimism that you can turn things around this year during your senior year? Absolutely. Um, you know, we work every day uh, to try to accomplish that. Um, so we're excited about this year. You came from the scranton Wilkesbury area in uh, West Pittston, Pennsylvania. How important was being able to play pretty close to home in your decision to come in here to UConn? Um, I mean, it was it was huge. Um, originally, I committed to two schools out in Ohio that were seven and eight hours away. Um, so to be able to just drive three, three and a half hours um, to home not only benefits me but my family. They were able to come to more games. Um, so it's a, it's a huge thing. Your mom really follows you, doesn't she? Absolutely. Uh, she comes to every game. Um, she's the best, you know. Not, not enough words I can to describe about her. She's the best. What about the guys who have been having an impact on you in your career? I know in your freshman year, you started two games for Shamar Stephan when he was hurt. Was he a guy that really helped you develop into the player you've become? Absolutely. Um, Shamar has been uh, a huge influence in my game, you know, just working with me, kind of taking me under his wing. Um, I really look up to him. I try to talk to him as much as I can and just get, you know, tips and reminders. Anytime he's around, I try to, you know, hang around with him and just be with him. Are you still stand